Get ready to raise the dead. On this edition, we're resurrecting Pen, an unsettling story about a paranoid schizophrenic's growing dependency on a lifelike mannequin. Based on Andrew Niederman's novel of the same name, Pen revolves around siblings Leon and Ursula Linden, the product of a less than normal upbringing. Mother's an obsessive clean freak, and father's cold and distant, except when throwing his voice as Pen. Short for Pinocchio, Pen is Dr. Linden's translucent life-size medical dummy who never tells a lie. Father's talent for ventriloquism provides the bedside manner he lacks in normal interaction. Pin buys the kids presents for their birthdays and educates them on the birds and the bees. Pin is particularly important for lonely Leon. Forbidden to bring other kids home to play in his mother's pristine plastic covered home, Leon sees Pin as his only friend. And when Leon catches his father's nurse using the anatomically correct Pin as a sex toy, the trauma causes a deep psychological rift. As they mature, Ursula sees through her father's trick, but Leon's unwilling to shatter the fantasy. When Dr. Linden catches 18-year-old Leon holding conversation with Pin, he's not exactly happy to see that his son has inherited his gift for ventriloquism. Disturbed by the revelation, he attempts to dispose of Pin before his frazzled nerves result in a fatal car crash that claims both parents. Leon pulls Pin from the wreck and is determined to create an idyllic life with him and Ursula. When Aunt Dorothy attempts to insert herself in their family unit, Leon uses Pin to give her a fatal heart attack. Without prying eyes, Leon gives Pin skin, hair, and his father's old clothes which somehow increased the dummy's creep factor. Ursula realizes that Leon has a serious problem, but refuses to commit her brother. When Leon violently insists that Pin is a member of the family, she gives in and allows him to maintain the illusion. After all, to her knowledge, Leon hasn't hurt anyone. That all changes when Ursula falls for Stan. After meeting Pin, Stan urges Ursula to seek professional help. Unfortunately for Stan, Leon overhears this. Acting on Pin's advice, Leon lures Stan over under the guise of planning Ursula's surprise birthday party. He drugs Stan and bashes him over the head when he attempts to escape. After Stan goes missing, Ursula discovers his watch and a mysterious wet spot on the carpet. In tearful rage and realization, she grabs an axe and brings it down on Pin and Leon while Stan is discovered clinging to life in a woodpile. In the conclusion, Ursula visits her childhood home and talks with Pin, and the pair lament Leon's loss. Ursula then leaves, and Pin is revealed to be, spoiler alert, Leon in deep catatonia. With the dummy destroyed, Leon has allowed the Pin side of his psyche to take over. One of several thrillers that equate ventriloquism with psychosis, Pin was released direct to video in the US in 1989. Written and directed by Sanders Stern, the creepy Canadian film is a slow burn filled with nightmare inducing imagery and capable performances. English actor David Hewlett garners sympathy as disturbed Leon, and Cynthia Preston provides a capable audience surrogate in Ursula. Elsewhere, Terry O'Quinn, better known as the psycho of the stepfather films, appears as Dr. Linden, and Breaking Bad star Jonathan Banks provides Penn's voice. Stern, best known for writing the script for the original Amityville Horror, produced a unique and haunting psychological thriller that deserves far more attention than it got. Last released on DVD in 2001, Penn remains in the shadows awaiting commercial re-release. Give it a chance if you find a copy. It's a film that'll have you talking. Just make sure that it's with someone else. Like these films? Hit subscribe and turn on notifications for future episodes.